Welcome back to the channel. In a previous video, we were able to create a new course that added to our subtotal and created a new total in about five lines of code. So this time around, I'm going to do something different. I want you to imagine that we had created our products and they included the prices with their taxes in them. But at the end of the day, we want to show the customer how much they're paying in tax and how much of money was charged before the taxes. So that's what we're going to dive in and that's what this question was asking from Pedran who asked in the comments on that particular video. So let's jump into that. There are two ways of doing this. One is by using the add action and then you target this particular location and add some code to it. But I'm going to show you another way that deals with the theme and also just adding different template files from WooCommerce. So WooCommerce allows us to edit the themes. If you come to the docs, you'll see that they allow you to edit the themes by adding a new file inside your theme. Add one of the files from the templates from the plugin and that will work very well. So what do I mean? Let me show you that. We're going to open our editor here and I'm going to go and open our plugin inside WP content of our site. Now inside here I'll open the WooCommerce plugin and I'm going to look at the templates folder that we do have here. So inside here, since we're on the checkout page, you'll see that most of these templates are well named to the areas where they are attached. So we'll check, we go to the checkout and we'll see the part that talks about reviewing the order because this is the part we review the order. We'll open that up in our editor and I'm going to just go down to the part where we have the total right here and I'm going to duplicate this table row and I'm going to add something new and call this information. And once I save this and come back and reload, you will see that we have a new section that's talking about information and it's not affecting our total, even if we have a figure thrown in there. So this is how we do it, but unfortunately we can't edit that in the plugins itself, because once we update to a later version of WooCommerce, all our changes will be lost because this particular file will be overwritten with the new file that comes from WooCommerce. So what do we do? We just need to copy this file and then we're going to come back to our active theme inside our themes folder. Go to 2019, which is our current theme, create a new folder called our WooCommerce. And then inside this, we'll create a new folder called Checkout because in our templates, we went into the Checkout folder and then we are going to paste our review order. Please notice that we don't add a templates folder inside here. We'll go straight away from WooCommerce and start adding the different templates and layouts. So from here, we're going to edit this file. And because we copied it directly, it will still have the information we had added. But I need to go back to my plugin and restore what was originally there. So if we try to reload this here, you will see that we still have our information working out here. And that is coming from our themes. And let me show you if I just make a small change, I'll add a new word and say here, and you'll see information will be here. So. So since we have this, I'm going to now attach something new. We don't want this to be bold, we want it to be like the subtotal. So I'll copy the class that comes with the subtotal and that is just cut subtotal here, copy it, then paste it here and save. And we're going to change the functions that do work in the PHP in this particular file. So let's create some space here and we're going to say we're going to get, we're going to get our subtotal it's equal to the WC, uh, which is a global from uh, WooCommerce, and we're going to get the cut, and we're going to chain on get subtotal function to get us the subtotal. Now, what we're going to do in this particular case is we want to echo the taxable amount. And what do I mean by taxable amount? That is uh, how much tax we're going to pay. So you can say taxable amount. And here the taxable amount, we usually get it by multiplying our value, our tax rate and our total. So we shall also get a value of rate and we're going to say it's 18%. But remember 18 out of 100 is the same as 0 0.18. We don't add this percentage sign 
because a percentage sign means something different in programming. It's a modulus, it means you're looking for a remainder after uh, dividing an odd number with an even number. So we'll just make our tax rate as 0.18 for 18%. So what we're going to do now is we're going to echo the subtotal times the rate. And then we are going to save this. So when we come back here and reload, we'll see that our taxable amount changes and we have the value written right here. But of course it's not adopting this currency, we need to get that currency symbol right here. And we shall get that symbol before the 162 by using this function, which is a get WooCommerce uh, currency. And then we shall just chain, I'll just add our math inside some brackets to make sure that it goes through. So let me reload this. And you see that we have our figure here and it's still not affecting our total that we had here. So I'll just quickly go and turn off that plugin that shows the extra costs. Uh, when I reload here, you'll see that we have our 900 as subtotal and our taxable amount is still this. So let me push this a little step further and I'm also going to show the client the amount before the tax. So we have amount before tax. And that we usually get by getting the subtotal and then we remove the tax taxable amount. So we're going to do some more math. So we'll get the subtotal, then we'll subtract the subtotal times the rate. And so if we save this, we're going to see that we get this value. But of course we can also chain on our function, which is a get WooCommerce currency. And then we'll use a dot to do that. I can also wrap this inside the brackets just to make our code more readable. So I'll save this, when I reload you'll see that we have our amount before tax, we have our taxable amount and our amount is still 900 and it's the one that will get paid. So if we place our order you'll see that our order goes through and we are charged 900 for cash on delivery. So that's how you can also use the theming in WooCommerce to make your whole experience of your shop unique. So you can actually end up doing a one page shopping site so that people order only on the front and then they go to the checkout. So we're going to attempt that in the near future. I'm going to come and show you how we can do a design, a whole complete design of our one page shopping WooCommerce site. So keep glued to the, to the screen, keep watching the channel, subscribe if you haven't, and click the notification bell to always get the latest coming from the channel. Share the video with your friend, if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up, or just simply leave a comment with a question or an answer. Thank you for watching and cheers.